We've woken to the most magnificent morning. There's just time for a little breakfast, which is essential, final preparation of gear, before the promise of a gentle climb uphill. Fantastic. Dead woman's past. The Inca Trail, one of the world's greatest hikes. Lots of steps. Go on forever. Uh, I've done it, and uh, rather immodestly. Uh, I was first by quite a long way. Only another two hours of this going uphill, so I suppose it shouldn't be too bad. Anyone call for a helicopter? Well, we did it first thing in the morning, which is good. It would have been tough in the afternoon. Life is good. Life's very good. Energized. And here comes the guy. I made it up too. You see who's filming him? That means I made it up, so... Not yeah. quite as fast as him, but right behind him. Anyway, I had to stop and yeah. help some yeah. very attractive ladies that just couldn't quite make it. And if it hadn't have been for me, I'm, I'm sure there would be more dead women on dead women's past. I am absolutely knackered. My feet hurt because i got a blister that covers the whole of the sole of one of them and a little bit of the other one. And uh, just I feel generally absolutely wasted. Perversely, I feel wonderful. Outside is, is, is gorgeous. You've, you've got the clouds floating about, maybe a thousand feet below you. Um, and I'm really set up for the evening. Only slight problem is evening falls very quickly here. About 5.30 is going to be dark. And then you're confined to the tent tell, you know, for the next 12 hours. You could stumble around outside, but if you did stumble, you'd fall over that precipice just there. So it's probably not a good idea. Here I am at the top of the world. Behind me you can see the mountain that's called uh, the uh, Claws of the Puma. It's uh, quite a magnificent sight and I think you'll see that all around I am surrounded by incredible mountains. Today we go down 2,000 steps in our descent to Machu Picchu. In 1911, when Hiram Bingham struggled through the undergrowth to finally end his quest, he must have been greeted by a mixture of wonderment and strange desolation. It's very different today, and unless you arrive early, you're going to be greeted by a lot of people. Machu Picchu is best enjoyed from the Sun Gate early in the morning. And uh, we're in the Amazon, and there's a great sense of excitement. I've wanted to be here for a long time. Now we're here, away we go. We're on the Madre de Dios River in the department of Madre de Dios, and we're heading towards uh, our accommodation for the night, deep in the Amazon jungle. Explain. We're in the Amazon rainforest, Amazon yep. basin. Yeah, we're here in the jungle by a lake. Sandoval, Lake Lake Sandoval, it's yeah. called. And as he's probably told you, we're just about to uh, go on the lake and go to the other side, where um, it's mosquito infested. But we're tough enough. Well, we deed it up, but um, there's um, a lot of incredible wildlife apparently on the other side, so we're going to check it out and see what's happening. What have we seen already today? We've seen we've seen parrots aplenty, we've seen sloths, we saw a, a cute little anteater, monkeys we've caught a glimpse of, we're hoping to see more of those. Uh, otters, we saw yeah, some yeah, wonderful giant otters, otters. Screaming and shouting they were. Places alive, alive, and at night even more so. Spiders, you got some spiders. Yeah, spiders, spiders, St. Andrew's cross spiders. I don't know who got them first, Australia or Peru. They were probably shipped over in freights, hiding in the middle of bananas, waiting to attack unsuspecting uh, shop, shop assistants. <laughs> butterflies, a gazillion butterflies. They're the biggest, most beautiful butterflies I've ever seen. Not that I'm a big butterfly person, but I was impressed. Gazillion, slight exaggeration, there are at least a thousand here. 
Well, we've seen about three, but it's great anyway. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're just waiting for uh, for our boat ride to be ready. I'm nearly ready, you? I'm, I'm happy like this. I prefer to go native, but uh, mm. John looks decidedly overdressed. Just precautions, you know, I have my yeah. buck knife and my insect repellent and boots yeah. and you know, stuff that you need. Because yes, we get stuck there for eight, nine weeks. I will be prepared worse. Yeah. Never take too many precautions. Never. No, that's why I take him with me, because then he can kill some stuff and then we can eat it. Yeah. Soon we will shave, shower, and it will feel glorious. Mm. You see, I don't mind, actually. I quite like uh, the, the perversity of dried sweat. I like not washing, not shaving for a few days. Have a little splash in the face, but it's uh, it's it's invigorating and it's um, it's manly. Yeah, me mm. on the other hand, I like to wallow in a bath, shower, yeah, moisturize myself, yeah. clean shaven, nice clean linen clothes. Yeah. I feel wonderful now. But it's amazing what uh, what a hotel does to your senses. It lifts you 100% a minute. Been here 10 minutes, feel a thousand times better. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Sick. Sick. Never a good idea to go up any mountain uh, with a chest infection. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody that has a chest infection. No. Okay. All right, well. Well, we'll see you up there. Yeah, yeah we'll see you up there. Yeah. Yeah. Good.